I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes. Concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Service with a smile. That's the easy way. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Space used to be a lot harder. Hey, are you looking for eggs, too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well... You can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Pleasure doing business with you. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Anyway, Captain, you Hello. Hey, it's you again. I'm great, actually. These are my parents. I told everyone they just got on a different shuttle, but nobody would listen. We're just exploring New Atlantis. We have a new apartment. This place is amazing. 
Anyway, it was nice to see you again. Maybe I'll see you around. And don't forget my birthday. It's June 11th. Any luck tracking down those sensors? I appreciate your assistance, but... So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. What a relief. Now, let's see. This is... Mm. Well, it, it's... Oh, my. This data... Well, it's alarming, to say the least. Well, there's good news and... Bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be... Well, disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in Mast at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. Not necessarily, but if you're offering your services, you've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and... So far, he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process?
Mind your step. Important research happening here. <sighs> Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. Is he seriously that desperate? No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay! I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. From where I'm standing, kind of seems like it is. It's not that I don't want to do the right thing. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. My thoughts precisely. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. 
While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Get up there, huh? Space. Everything you see here is a piece of a... Welcome to the Co-Heritage Museum. I... That is not something I expected to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies? I've received some odd messages of late. Most in the Collective aren't overly fond of MAST, or the UC in general. I tend to share that sentiment. Lost a cousin in the Colony War, you know. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized, nor particularly inclined, to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred-year-old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. Hi! Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. I hear what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's out of the question. Hmm. I guess I don't want to impede anything important. I'm not an unreasonable person, you know. I can't believe I'm doing this. Please return it in one piece. City has what we need. Have you paid a visit to Miss Castler in Aquila City? Yes, yes, of course. I'll see that it is returned to her in one piece. Well, perhaps minus a few shavings. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right, so we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. But I'm hoping it's enough. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. So, we now have a simulated response to our tree. All that's left is to play it. An excellent question. I have been wondering myself. I've been forced to listen to this SSNN kiosk chatter incessantly this entire time. I think it could be put to better use. We don't have time to go through the proper channels, but if you can find a terminal and get this uploaded into their system, it might do the trick.
I have no doubt that you will. stories are a big hit. Well, you've already helped me with that. I've gotten some good scoops off of you, and I won't forget it anytime soon. What's the story this time? Okay... I think you're going to have to give me a little more information, because right now this sounds like the sort of thing that could get me fired, and possibly land me in jail for a treason and or terrorism. Well, now this just sounds like a practical joke. But you've been a reliable source so far. All right, I'll do it. But if I lose my job over this, I promise you, I will come after you. Back to the grind. seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. I did my best, but it's not magic. There are no guarantees. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it. 